Shout out to Melanin is her glory. Where I first saw this story, um, this just, I don't know, I can't say that it blew my mind because like it's something that we all kind of, you know, believed. We all kind of felt it in the undercurrents of society. Um, but to have someone share their personal testimony about something that, you know, all of us who know that we are the true children of Israel um, have been sensing for the very longest time. And um, yeah, it, it, it's just something that you got to hear for yourself. The other day, somebody called me. They wanted to get some scriptures from me because I distribute in the UK and Europe. His word, his Hebrew Israelite scriptures, Hebrew Old Testament, Hebrew Apocrypha, Hebrew New Testament. It's a great, great translation. And this is what we distribute in our blessed menorah. But uh, they called me about this. They wanted to know about the information. And they had so many questions. They said they're alone. They have nobody to talk to. Um, and they wanted some questions answered. I asked if, uh, if I knew about the Sabbath and the feast. So I was educating them a little bit. They had so many questions. And then they asked me a question. They said, well, you know, we know that the, the true Jews are not uh, the ones living in Israel. So who are the true Jews? And I told them the people who are black or melanated. Um, and I give examples of that in Deuteronomy 28, etc., etc. And the manifestation that came out of these people was unbelievable. And they were a white couple, and they said to me this, they would rather believe a lie rather than accept that the lie. children of the book and Mashiach is black. That is an end time spirit, a spirit of Esau manifesting in these last days wrestling in the womb. So uh, I turned around and said, well, look, you want the scriptures or not, it's up to you. Um, but this is the truth and you know, I apologize for these things. She said to me, I'm a rabbi, I said I don't call myself rabbi, but I'm a teacher of the word. Now we know that the Bible says that in the last days that the Most High shall cause a strong delusion to come over the land, over the people who do not accept the truth. But I can tell you from personal experience that I have two Gentile um, people in my life, two very close Gentile people in my life for very different reasons and they do not know each other. But one of the Gentiles that I know um, is, and I've talked about her oftentimes, she is very, very forthright about her love for Yesharel. She has done everything that she can to share the message of who the true Yasharel, Yahudim, Ephraim is to her white peers, her former church family pastor, and they have all looked at her and told her that she was out of line. They have manifested, said they had nothing to repent of, and that she is the one actually who is delusional. And she's actually had to part ways from the majority of the white people that are in her life because they would rather accept the lie than believe the truth of, of who true Israel is. And her and I have talked about this of course, that means that she and her family are very isolated. They don't have a whole lot of sense of community that they can gather around because of the fact that they have been so rejected by their own white peers over this truth. Now, the second Gentile that is in my life, I have told her who true Yesharel is, and she has listened with great intent. She has asked me questions, but yet she still holds on to the idea that the Ish people are still Yah's chosen people. And I can't help but to think that that is a part of the strong delusion. Unfortunately, many Gentiles, whether they be white or Arab or Asian, it doesn't matter. Many of them will balk at the truth of who the true Yahudim is. Even so-called rabbis like Harry Rosenberg will acknowledge that Negroes are actually true Israelites, but he calls himself a Judean and still puts himself within the fold of the 12 tribes and calls us the lost 10 tribes when in actuality he is the convert because he once spoke to the reality that he and his people could be converts. And a lot of the slaves, a very high percentage of them, came from Western Nigerian ports. And in America today, you see a, a very large movement of African Americans who say that they're the real chosen people, that they're the children of Israel, they're the Judeans. You know, so what, are they just trying to create a, an identity for themselves because they were slaves, or is there really something here? And the answer is, most likely there is something there. And most likely, maybe that they were the original Israelites. And maybe that the Jewish people today who are white, Caucasian people, um, 
came in a little bit later on. But once he got his educational correction, then he said, no, we're the Judeans and they are the 10 tribes. And so this idea that their whiteness and their Europeanness still fits within the bloodline is something that they'll hold on to. And the Caucasian Gentiles, as well as those who hate Negroes around the world, will continue to hold on to the delusion and the lie because they do not love the Messiah. It's not about loving us as much as it is about hating a rejecting the true Messiah. According to the word, the Most High Mashiach, Yahushua said that if the world hates you, remember that it hated me first. So when these people think that they are actually showing hatred towards us, they are actually showing their hatred towards the Messiah. They're not showing their hatred towards us first. They've already shown their hatred towards the true Messiah. Why? Because he said light is coming to the world, but men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. That's what we see with the world's rejection of the Most High's true people, the rejection of the true Israelites by the world is because they hated him first. And unfortunately, many of our people that are still on the, under the stronghold of that system of, colon, of colonialist thinking in terms of worship of who the true Most High, Elohim, Yahuwah, Yahusha, Hamashiach being his son, many of our people are going to be in for a rude awakening because they will understand that they have also been wor worshiping a false identity. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you believe what this guy said, his report? Do you believe that what he is saying is legitimate or are you say, man, that man is exaggerating? He's just dealing with one person, but that's not the way they all feel. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. If you have not done so, be sure to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell for you to get notifications as soon as I have a new video released. And as always, thank you and y'all bless.